Good morning and a happy Tuesday to you. I hope that your week is off to a fabulous start. Um, I've had a great week. I've got one at camp this week, which is uh, new for her. So that uh, kept us busy on the weekend, getting everything organised, ready for her to go. And I'm really looking forward to her coming back tomorrow afternoon and hearing about all of the fun she's had at camp. Um, so thanks for joining me. If you're here, let me know, please. Um, so I can help you out with any questions that you have and if you're watching the replay then please put hashtag replay and um, then I'll know that you've been watching and I can look out for any questions that you have. So today I promised that I would talk about um, messenger kids and I would specifically take you through the parental controls that are in it. So if you haven't heard about messenger kids before it is um, an app uh, by Facebook which is specifically for children um, to communicate with each other, so texts and videos, um, but it has a parental control dashboard and it's actually created using the parent's Facebook account. So if you've got a Facebook account, you can create a Messenger Kids account for your child. So um, what I wanted to do is, um, I guess I want to tell you about a few features first. And one is that there's no in-app purchases. So um, if you're going to download this for your child, you don't have to worry about them um, inadvertently spending money. There's no in-app purchases. Um, but the kids can do, um, they can do, uh, you know, filters and stickers and GIFs, emojis. Um, there's drawing tools. So, um, you know, if your child's heard about Snapchat and they're excited about filters, I know um, mine and my youngest one who has messenger kids, she loves the filters. One of her older sisters has Snapchat and she's seen that. So um, she likes to use the filters in messenger kids. So it's, it's a good, um, you know, compromise for the younger children. So um, let's move on. So like I said, um, when you, if you're going to create a messenger kids account, um, you can download messenger kids onto the child's device and then you use your Facebook account, your personal Facebook account to create that, um, uh, your child's account, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I am going to share my screen so that we can have a look through. Now you'll have to excuse a few other things that are on the screen while I do that. So give me a minute and we'll set that up. Let's pop over two. Here we go. So if you are in, there we go, if you are in your Facebook account, and this works on your mobile as well, um, just pop into Messenger Kids once you've created the account for your child. Okay, now I can't show you too much because you'll see um, information for other children and I'm not going to be sharing that. Um, but what you can see is activity, contacts and controls, and we are interested in controls today. Okay. So I've clicked on controls and the first items there are account settings, makes sense. So if you pop into account details, you'll see that this is where um, the information for your child is set up and it very clearly states that um, only your child's name, their photo and who manages their account will be visible to people that you allow to see their account. Um, and then there's a code. Now, this code you can use to connect with other children via their parents. So you can, you can share that. Um, and then there's parents and guardians. So um, even though only one parent um, uses their Facebook account to create the child's account, um, you can add another parent. So just say mum uses their account to set it up like I have. We can then add um, dad's Facebook account so that um, they also can see, the, see and use the controls and also um, see the information that the children are sharing within Messenger Kids. So it's easy enough just to add an, an extra person there. I'm scrolling down to um, privacy controls and this is um, where a lot of the meaty stuff is. So you'll notice the first one is friending and you've got two choices here. You can let your child choose contacts so they can invite, um, they can see other contacts and they can invite them to be part of their contact list. Um, you'll still be notified, um, but it means that they can see lots of other kids there. 
I have chosen only I can choose contacts. Um, that means that unless I'm specifically asked by the other parent or by my child, um, that you know she won't know that anyone else is on face is on Messenger Kids. Okay, so it's it's keeping a really tight control there, um, kind of picking and choosing um, who um, has access there. So that's that's my choice. Sleep mode, and this is a big one. So um, what you don't want is for um, some children, oh, hello, Zoe, thanks for um, thanks for joining me today. It's good to see you here. Um, we're just about to have a look at the sleep mode in um, Messenger Kids. So a child can be given unlimited access, but what that would mean is that they could be sending your child um, messages at all hours. So what um, Facebook have done is they've created this sleep mode and they have been very smart about how they've set it up so that we've got a during the week option, which is Sunday because they've got school the next day. Um, then we've got Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. So um, then we've got the weekend, which is Friday because they're staying up later um, and Saturday because they have later nights, right? So your routine might be a little bit different. So <laughs> Zoe... You can use Messenger Kids if you like and the sleep mode will work perfectly for you also. Um, so what you can see here is that I've got it set up so that during the week um, access stops at 8pm in the evening and then Messenger Kids doesn't turn on until 9 o'clock the next morning and on the weekend, 9 o'clock at night, it doesn't come on until 9.30 the next morning. And if another child has different um, sleep mode settings to yours, that's perfectly okay. Um, just say someone sent um, Keely a message at 9 o'clock during the week when she doesn't have access, 9 p.m. at night, the message would just sit there. She wouldn't know that there was a message um, or she couldn't access it because the and when she went into the app, it would say, hey, your app is in sleep mode. And then when it wakes up, the message would come through. So that's a really great feature of, um, of the Messenger Kids there. Um, we've got log out of devices. So what you can see is um, we have um, a number of devices that Keely has Messenger Kids on um, and you can log out of those and log back into just the one you're using. I'm going to talk about that specifically a little bit later in some more detail. We've got online status. So what this is, it's a bit like Facebook. If, um, if you're online, you'll have a little green dot on your name. So, um, Zoe, if I was to log into Facebook and you were online, um, if I went into um, my contacts there, I would see a little green dot and I'd know that you were online. And so online status here in Messenger Kids, when you turn it on, it means that um, the child's contacts within Messenger Kids can see that they're online and they might go, oh, Keely's online, I'll send her a message. Um, I choose to have it turned off. It means that it's a little bit more purposely driven. If they want to send Keely a message, then um, then they will, and Keely will get it um, when she has access. Um, that's just my choice. They're not going to see that she's um, when she's online and just go, hey, let's have a chat. So you can turn that on and off, and it's really easy. It's just a, model, a matter of toggling that button there. Okay. Oh, now I'm not going to click into here because it takes you to a different screen. But what you can do is download all of the information for a period of time. So you can download a file for yourself to look at. Um, it will contain in it um, all of the written messages, any GIFs, any videos, that sort of thing. You can go back and review it. Um, and this is what I wanted to go into more detail about. Uh, you can... I mean, you can get onto your child's device and have a look at it at any time to see what they've been up to. But what I recommend and what we do is that um, both my husband and I have Messenger Kids, the app, downloaded on both of our phones and we are logged into Keely's account and we can see in real time any messages that are coming through. So I will get a notification if she receives a message um, which I like because then I know, um, you know, what she's doing, um, who she's talking to, and you can keep an eye. And this is particularly handy when um, 
groups are created. So you can actually create, um, you know, groups. I forget what they're called. You know, in your, um, your text messages, you can create a group and you can sort of, you know, can share all your texts and everyone can see and you can invite others. Well, the same thing applies within Messenger Kids um, just for the contacts that, that your child knows that they can see who's in that group. So um, that would be my recommendation. Not only download it on your child's phone, but download it. Ah, that's it. Thank you, Zoe. Group chat. So, yes, um, Messenger Kids has group chat. And, and this is where I find it particularly useful to have um, the app downloaded on my phone and my husband's phone as well so that we both know um, who is online, who is communicating and so forth. Um, you know, that way if things get a little bit out of hand and because kids are still learning, um, you can sort of talk to your child there and then about what's happening. Um, and so that's definitely my, my preference. Um, and you can also, um, there's a contact list. Uh, what was that called, sorry? Contact list visibility. So you can actually choose who sees Keely's contact list. So Keely is friends with another child um, and I've got that first option there. Then others can see who she's friends with. We choose to keep it quite private so only we can see Keely's contact list. And again, this is your choice. Now, um, our child is still quite young. If she was, um, say, 12, then I might change that. But for now, um, this is what we think suits her. So um, they are, oh, oh, this important one at the bottom, links. Okay, so. What you can do within Messenger Kids is um, send links and <laughs> you can send them through the chat, right? So just like you can with like I could send Zoe a link um, through Messenger so that when she clicked on it, it could come up in her default browser and the same thing happens within Messenger Kids. Now, that can be a little bit scary to me um, because you don't really have much control over, um, you know, what they're seeing once it goes into another browser. So um, Facebook have given parents a couple of choices here. So you, I've chosen not to allow links in chats, okay? So there's no sharing of them. You can allow links in chats and not be notified when your child sends or receives them. So you can sort of, you know, leave them to it. You can have a look later. You can download um, all of the information that, you know, that all of their communication if you want and see it through there. Or you can allow the links in the chat and be notified when your child sends or receives them so that you have an opportunity to look at them around about the same time that your child is looking at them or later. Um, and what you'll see there is that... Um, you can visit links in chats in your parent dashboard to report or remove any links that your child has received or sent. Um, and sometimes Messenger Kids will block some sites, but it's not really their responsibility once the app has taken them out into the default browser, okay? So if you don't have, say, Google Safe Search um, set up in your default browser and your child clicks on a link which happens to be, let's say, pornographic then um, it's just going to come up okay and to like they've seen it they can't unsee it so um, it is quite a, um, a tight set of parental controls within messenger kids um, I would highly recommend it for children who are 13 and younger who want to communicate with each other but um, where snapchat really isn't an option just going to stop sharing my screen here because you're probably seeing my notifications pop up. Um, now, some other news I wanted to share with you is that I do have a free webinar coming up. It's all about parental controls. We'll be talking about um, the parental controls that are available, um, how they work, how you should decide which ones are right for you. Uh, that's coming up on the 17th of January. There is a lot of interest in it and quite frankly, I don't think we're going to fit everyone um, on board on the day. I know some people will register without being able to actually attend. And if that is you and you still want the information, then please um, go into the group and find the link 
Um, I've popped it into the events section there and there's a link in the comments and you can register and that way if you don't make it on the day you will receive a uh, recorded version so that you can watch it in your own time. So that's everything for today. I'm going to stay online for another um, 10 minutes or so. So if you have any questions, then please uh, pop them in so that I can help you out. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you live next Tuesday. Thanks for joining me, Zoe. Bye.